It's Sunday, and that means it's time for another Hook of the Week. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge. So let's dive into our bucket of useful stuff. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like a bucket anymore, but believe me, this was once a five gallon bucket. And when it's empty, we're throwing it away. But until then, it's not going anywhere. Lots of stuff in the bucket. We just did something with angle iron, so I don't use, think I'll use that. And we've looked at some tubing, although that's gonna be completely different kind of hooks than the tubing was. And that's gonna be a power hammer project. Of course, that's probably a medium carbon steel, so I may decide not to use it for a hook, but we'll see. Maybe a big chain hook. How about we do something with this little piece of eighth by one flat bar? So what I'm thinking with this little piece of flat bar is that I'm going to cut it so that it has three points on it, and then we'll continue to split that down so we can scroll the top outwards and still have a center section with a little point on it. Not exactly sure how that's going to look yet, but we'll figure it all out. I'm kind of making a lot of these up as I go. We'll put a couple of punched holes in it. The other end, I think I'll fishtail out and put a kind of a fishtail scroll on the end then scroll it up into the hook. It's just another one of those general purpose hooks. This should be one of the quicker, more simple hooks that we do. This should be a pretty simple and straightforward hook. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the little gas forge today. People quite often ask, do you ever use that? And I don't use it as much as I thought I would, but it's still kind of nice, especially since it's a nice hot day in July as I'm working on this hook using a smaller forge will be kind of nice. First thing I want to do then is just open this up. That way I can get in there and forge these wings or scrolls, or whatever they are. I am just letting this forge run because it's not fully up to heat yet. So I hope the noise isn't too bad. I'll try to talk over it. Well, as usual, I let the battery go dead on the main camera, so you may not have heard all of that narration. So if there was music over the last couple of minutes, that's why. Basically, I'm just drawing these out. You get nice, even taper that'll scroll up nicely. Paying particular attention not to kink it right through here. There's still a little bit of a lump on that one. I'll need to work on that. Bring this back in and straighten it out a little bit before I scroll this. They're also not quite the same length, so I'm going to have to trim the long one. I'm 
going to trim it a little short because after I trim it, I still have to draw it back out again. Okay, those are about the same length now. Try to make both scrolls match. This is good practice for doing little scrolls like this. Keep your eye on it and try and keep them moving about the same. It's these kinks in here that are going to be hard to get out. If you have scrolling tongs, they can come in handy sometimes for these little details like that. Especially if you got to open things back up again. And if you like freeform and funky, you could just call it good the way it is. Scroll starter will help as well. Doing a split scroll isn't so hard, but this uh, centerpiece I left in here does add to the difficulty. But I think I'm fairly happy with that. Now I'm not real happy with the centerpiece. I would like to spread it out a little bit. Decide what I think is the front, what I think is the back, and work from the back. need a little bit of filing. I almost see a couple little eyes in that and these are arms but I don't know if that's uh, something you could elaborate on or not. Go to that hole on the bolster plate. This eighth inch material you could probably punch cold if you wanted to, especially if you're using a bolster.
Yeah, man. So that'll take a couple of screws. I just want to lightly bevel this. It'll just look better. my touch mark on there. I'm going to try and peen this with evenly spaced blows so that the peen marks show and become kind of a decorative element when I scroll this up. You can actually go through and fuller things like this if you want to. These fishtail scrolls are real hard to fix if you mess them up, so try not to mess it up. make a hook out of it. And I'm just going to do that in this pipe jig, just a piece of pipe with a little tab welded up here. And that catches the end of the scroll so you can bend it up. These are really handy for a lot of different things. I'm going to cool that scroll end off a little bit. So I can tap on it. There we go. Make sure that your your end of your hook doesn't block your access to your screw hole. Next thing I'm going to do is a little filing up here to clean up that top center element. So I've let this cool and turned off that noisy gas forge so you can hear me a little bit better. And we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of filing. It's a good place to use a filing vise that holds this at a comfortable angle and you can see what you're doing. Mostly I just want to take off the lumps and the rough spots. We're also going to bevel this a little bit, at least this center element. To get right down in here in the cut, I'm using what's called a knife file. Not because it's for use on knives, but it's shaped like a knife and has a real skinny edge. Then for the rest of it, I'm just using a half round file. that too sharp and pointed. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves on it. So that's kind of what I'm going for there. 
So I'm just heating that up just enough to make the wax melt. Give me one last quick wire brushing to be sure. It's probably a little bit hot for waxing at this point. Yeah, it needs to cool down just a little bit more. This is more what you want, just a little bit of light smoke as you put the wax on. This is just paste wax that you'd use on floors. This particular can is min wax. I usually use Johnson's just because it's readily available, but somebody sent me this can, so I'm going to use it. Got bugs in the shop today. And before the wax is completely cooled, wipe off the excess and kind of buff it up with a soft cloth. In this case, an old blacksmithing t-shirt with some holes burned in it. I'm sure you got some of those laying around your shop. I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.